Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. I'm Black Templar. Let's go with this. Right, guys. It seems we have a new veteran pick we can get. So let's have a look what we can get. No, I don't want... I do not want to go skirmish, thank you. <clears throat> hmm. Yep, we can get a veteran skill. Um, let's have a look. What shall we get? Explorer. Hagler. Healer. I think I'll go with healer, guys, because... <clears throat> the Goy Season's also an interesting one. But I think healer's better, so we got someone to heal up my injuries better. Alright, let's get on with some business. We had some business with the cash. So, I mean, I was a good scavenger, but brutal scavenger, ooh, no. We're gonna go with the cash. Because, well, while my rats are still injured. Because of the bloody the mess. reported a secret cache of equipment ruins, but recovering it has become no easy task. Somehow, an <clears throat> enemy warband has learned of your plan. Worse, they're lying in wait and have deployed patrols to flank your warriors. Yeah, that's a problem. <clears throat> right, so I'm near my caravan. Where are they? Oh god, I think it's sisters I'm dealing with. Uh, okay, okay. Here's my main target, these warp stones. Uh, yep, let's go. So, what's on the agenda for today, you may ask? Well, today we'll be talking about the last clan of Skaverdom. They are the most vile, mental, and crazed individuals you'll find in Skeverdom. And that is Clan Molder, the Beastmasters. Now, Clan Molder is a unique clan. Now, during their, shall we say, the Skaria incident, they left Skeverdom. However, they didn't go far. They went far north of Skeverdom. They went north towards the Chaos Wastes. Whereupon going to the Chaos Wastes, they noticed a lot of warp stone. Now, keep in mind, warp, warp stone in the Chaos Waste is more potent. And the. Shall we say the potency of the Chaos Wastes warp stone is pretty much. Well, to put it bluntly, um, how can I put it? Ah, a good analogy. Imagine if you would a whiskey bottle. Now, your average whiskey could be okay, but let's say you put it in a barrel. And let's say you left that whiskey barrel for, say, 10 years. And it comes out very potent and strong. Now, let's say that said whiskey barrel is left for 20 years. And it gets ludicrously strong. Then if we go to the nth degree, leaving a whiskey for nearly 50 years, it's practically poison and literally turns into paint stripper. That is what Warpstone in the waste is. It's stronger, potent, and deadlier. <clears throat> now, after seeing the Warpstone mutations and marbles, Clan Mortar decided to, shall we say, <clears throat> set up shop. Where they set up shop near the Chaos Wastes in a place called Hell Pit. Where they do all sorts of lovely experiments with beasts, mutations, and other concoctions. I mean hell. They they even created the rat ogre and the abomination. Now keep in mind that these creatures are tamed by the Beastmasters. However, they, they are not. They are very good at experimentation on these poor beasts with warp stone to see what would happen. But they're also masters of what we call the mutation skin, skin graft art. I hope I pronounced that right. You see, <clears throat> in Hell Pit, many of the furnitures and other fixtures are not your normal, typical like steel, glass, and all that. Oh no no no. 
the floors, the chairs, everything, are actually slaves that kind of displease them, or shall we say a, let's say a Kurgan warrior gets very angry at a, one of his lieutenants who absolutely mucked up a battle. Anything, well, I can't exactly whip the man because, well, he'll probably, probably enjoy it or ignore it, and killing him is not worth the effort because it was too quick and easy. So, what do you think he does? He takes Dragon to help it and turns him into a toilet. A new round has started. No, I am serious. He would ask the Skaven to turn this idiot into a toilet. And they would do it. They will find a way to do it. Oh, hello. That's their cart. Where are they, though? Aha. That's witch hunters, huh? Oh, that's a, that's a chunk I'm getting at. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, yeah. My mode has got a very, um... Shall we say, an interesting uh, profession. Oh, Jesus. Oh, really bad. I must have lost my dodge ability because of one of the warp stones. <clears throat> now, if you think that's bad... <laughs> Wait till you hear what they do to the poor beasts. Yeah, parry field, because I, I couldn't dodge. Oh, he dodged. Crap. Don't worry, cavalry's here. You see, when it comes to the beast crafting to make these monsters, they are masters of it. Well, masters is a strong word. They're, they're confident. Now, you see, one thing you should know, guys, and this is something you all should know about, you know, the beast masters. They are good at, shall we say, making sure that their pets are behaved. Now, the thing about rat ogres and the abominations is they train them from birth, but they also do selective breeding. To put an example, Let's say they want to get a few very powerful, unique vermin to become their like chosen weapons of destruction. They will find the best female and the best male to breed. Now, <laughs> breed is a kind of strong word with these rat ogres. It's more along the lines of hoping that mummy and daddy don't kill each other in the actual mating process. There you go, dead. But, um, yeah, throughout the breeding process. Now, I will not kid you guys, many Beastmasters tend to die when trying to separate the two once they have performed the deed. And even when that happens, the Beastmasters have got to also try and get the little pups away. The, you know, their offspring away from mummy before she decides to eat it. Eat the babies. No, I'm not kidding. That's what the rat ogre mummies do. They tend to eat the babies because, well, they're violent, vicious creatures. And then once they're done, they then try to modify them by a few warp stone and a few trinkets to make them more deadly and powerful. You see, when they're early in their life span, they tend to make sure that the... the the little kitties are trained properly so they don't, you know, go nom nom on their masters. And trust me, they do not hold back on that. Hmm. <clears throat> it's possible I could do it, but I would have to find some way to pin him. A new round has started. Let's go, Phil. Let's see if we can. Is there no one actually there? Not the elf actually come this far to s What's in there? Oh, a healing draft. It's purple, so it's worth stealing. Yep, take the Isle of Sigma. Liberator's Boon. Is 
I don't have a dodge ability, I'm gonna have to go run it. Ah, damn it, he's gone ambush. Oh, good, I can ambush him. Well, it doesn't matter, but he's he's not gonna ambush anymore. <laughs> Dodge mode. <clears throat> now, you'd be also wondering how does an abomination become a thing? Well, that is a very brutal process in itself. You see, an abomination is practically. Imagine if you would. One or two monsters being, like, sewn together. No, I'm not kidding. That's what they do. They sew them together to try and make these abominations and the problem with these abominations is that they're so unstable it's unreal oh got him nice well he's stunned <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll have two rats going after him and one rat going after the Lord nope god damn it Well, in that case, try and keep this guy down as long as possible. <clears throat> oh, come on. How's he dodging? Ooh, a crit shot as well. Well done. Keep it up, just, just try and remove help. Right, he's being dealt with, which is good. Nice, poison. Damn it. And he had all the warmstone as well. I need to get rid of these guys now. Okay, surprise, and he's injured. Nice, got a good couple of hits. Nice dodge. So he's just a regular. Oh, he's always one of the heroes. A new round has started. Nice. Feel dodge. A lot of weeping poison. Disengage. Now you, get running. You've done your job. Ooh, could he make it? I think he can. Yes, he's made it. Objective completed. Nice. Stun recovery, but he's... Oh, he can still fight? And he freaking misses. It's the last thing I needed. <laughs> well, they're getting hurt. Nice. 
Now I gotta hope for a. Yes, we got a kill. Oh, you had a warp stone fragment. Don't mind if I do. At least I got most of them back. Just bug out, my friend. Bug out. You've done your job. He's out. Good. That should hold him. I'm going to get him to be slashed so that way we can... Um... Damn it, how the hell did he stop me? I was almost weak enough for the poisons to take effect. Ah, they passed that route. Resisted. Son of a bitch. But at least I got the warp stone. That's the main thing. He took the other one. Damn it. He missed. Well parried, my boy. And that isn't damage. Took a hit, but your parry stopped him. Ooh. Right, I need my big guy back to start hacking hot. Damn it. A new round has started. We make it no you won't, so go for this guy because he was the one that was weakened. Gotcha! And we've been poisoned. Good. Alright. He's been whipping poisoned twice, so that should help. Nice. There we go. That should get at least... I know it's going to poison one of my guys, but it's going to get... Oh, he didn't get infected, but good. That's, um... That should be enough to finish him, hopefully. Can't help him, so... Damn it! Alright, got a hit. Alright, now I just need to hang on for dear life. Nice, got a hit. Now, let's hope the one that poison is gonna die. Yes, he's dead. I think they'll be running in a minute. This is why, guys, I got him out to avoid getting hurt. Now, we got him pinned. They're running! Oh my god. <clears throat> Braces. 
Well, I know who could. I know who have that. The others I'm not keen about, but I got some warp storm out of it. That's good. Brave, bold warfan, this sneaky strong. <clears throat> Fetch find much word stone. Don't Don't talk, squeak talk. speaks. Complete. Task complete, huh? Oh yeah, before I forget guys, um, as far as Clan Mortar goes, I don't know any big heroes, unfortunately. Because Clan Mortar doesn't tend to get much recognition other than uh, the, what Eshin and Skariah get and Pestilence. They get more than what Mortar gets. The gods are with you. But um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Remarkable. Outstanding. Uh, let's do anything Unknown disease has best to the warrior, provoking permanent fever. The warrior's base wound value reduced by 10 as a result of the affliction. Outstanding. Well, basically, he's he's got a fever problem. The gods are with you. New warriors are available for hire. All right, we've got access to more Your heroes. Your band is getting stronger. We've got access to better heroes. Right. So, let's pay for treatment. Now, before we get these heroes, let's um, sort these guys out. Right, these ships high, so we intelligence. Actually, no. Um, strength, definitely. And alertness. I have to say, I can't forget. you got to press Y. Alright, not bad, not bad. Right, so we have... So we don't have access to the new hero yet, access to the new M. Um, the, the rat ogre yet but what we do have access to is these guys the night runner and the blah, the wizard skaven now I am going to go for the wizard skaven because I do need some magic Task complete. and plus the fact as well you got to remember guys I want a rat ogre so unfortunately it's a must now, unfortunately, he's out for, um, give it a time. So he's out. He'll go in there to take his place. And that means, can we get the, um, yeah, we can get you. Now, the good thing with the Night Runners is you can use them for different purposes. I didn't want to do that. So, let's look at this guy. He's got decent ballistic skill, but he's not good weapon skill. Now, he is weak, let's be honest, but he is agility. He's got good agility. So, what we're going to give him is... So, let me um, sort out his key kit. Yep, give him pistols and... and give him fine claws. So basically guys, he's not the greatest, but he will do what needs to be done. And um, yeah, that's the, the gang done. Now, I'm not getting another henchman until he recovers, so... Let's um, look at this, because I now got to have to sell some stuff. Greater boom, yeah, I can sell that. And antidote, yep, I can sell that. Bottom zeal, yep. Heavy armor, yep. Halberd, yes. Um, I mean, I can get another halberd. They date spears. There we go. So I got two days left. So 
So I've got enough, but let's um, have a new hired swords are available. What we got for missions? Horrors. Oh, we got a normal rival in the ruins. That seems to be a good quest to do, but and I can um, yeah, I can get away with doing what I'm gonna do. So let's um, cash out first. There we go. You are becoming famous. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. And um yeah, and that's where we're going to end the video folks. I mean, I know this is a short video and I feel best like for at least a one short video cuz because we're going to be going for a long video soon when we're going to do the docks. We're almost there to do them, but we're not there yet. We're missing one key component, and then we're off to the races. But hey, folks, that's it for the video. If you like the videos, please like, share, and subscribe, ring the bell, and on the next Mordheim City of the Damned, we're going to rumble in the ruins and hopefully have enough money and prestige ready to perform the big mission. But hey, folks, I'll see you next time. Yes, yes.